When I was eight or nine years old, I had a neighbor who worked in this building, and he had a son, and his son was my buddy. One day he invited me to his birthday party. We came here to this building, and we went bowling. His dad set up the pins, and we knocked them down. His dad set them up again, we knocked them down. It was a real bowling alley. We had a wonderful time. It was a blast. So this is the building where I saw my very first movie, back in the mid-70s. See, my dad worked here for like 30 years. When we were little kids, he brought us to one of the Christmas parties, and they showed 20,000 leagues under the sea. Can't remember if they gave us popcorn, but you know what? It was a really good movie. And it was a Christmas party, so they gave us stuff. And eh, what kid doesn't like to get stuff? I've heard that you can find a friendly ghost in this building late at night. Apparently, she's been seen in the bathroom mirrors and you can find her sometimes running and skipping down the hallway. Scary. So what building are they talking about? This building is home to Canada's first life insurance company, Canada Life. Formerly known as the London Life Building, it's now known as Canada Life. Because Great West Life, London Life and Canada Life came together as one company, the new Canada Life in 2020. Our building stands out in London's downtown landscape. You can't miss it. Welcome to the Canada Life Assurance Company, the London campus. Let's open the doors and we'll show you around the place. Comprising of a full city block, the campus consists of four main buildings. Building number one, designed by architect John Moore, was completed in 1927. They even built a steel-based vault to safeguard the company's valuables. In 1964, Due to an increase of new employees, building number four was added to accommodate our growth. Keeping a building of this size cozy warm in the winter and cool in the summer is not an easy task. Recent upgrades to the heating systems and adding brand new chillers helps to keep the building energy efficient while being very cost effective. Daily maintenance inside and outside the building is key. Keeping our grounds in tip-top shape in summer and winter requires a team, too. As senior property manager of this building, this is my baby. The new heating systems are great, but the chiller plant, now that's cool. Among the heating and cooling systems on the roof, you'll also find the beehive. Our busy bees create honey, which is jarred and donated to the local food bank. Perhaps one of the most impressive sections of the building is the auditorium. Built in 1927, this is the place where the company has held annual general meetings, employee town halls, and during the Second World War, employee talent shows, which raised money for the war effort. That theme of helping others continues to this day. Since the late 90s, Canada Life has held its annual lip sync contest featuring employees. The money raised from the admission goes to our United Way campaign. Over the years, the office space inside all four buildings has gone through many, many changes. Each decade brought new technologies, new office equipment, new working styles and challenges to accommodate more employees working in the building. Today, we continue to modernize and update a more collaborative working environment and use different techniques to communicate with employees and customers. Canada Life even has its own TV studio and audio podcast studio. Hi, my name is Jeff McCowan, President and Chief Operating Officer of Canada Life. Welcome to our virtual tour. I love this building. Our employees do as well. And I know the city of London really enjoys coming here. Enjoy the tour.
Back in the day, to satisfy our employees' hunger and to encourage healthy eating, an in-house cafeteria was built. Today, the updated cafe serves breakfast and lunch. You can get almost anything you want from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. And the food is excellent. On every floor of the building, you'll find an impressive collection of Canadian art. Over the years, Canada Life has supported and encouraged the visual arts. The collection represents artists from all across Canada, with an emphasis on local artists who made their mark on the national and international art community. Artists such as Patterson Ewan, Greg Curnow, Murray Favreau, Tony Urquhart, and Bernice Vincent. Since the day construction began on building number one, the Canada Life Building has been a beacon for economic growth and stability, locally and nationally, and it continues to stay up to date with the changing times for today and for tomorrow. Many people, employees and customers have graced its hallways over the years. Even ghosts and bowling alleys have left their mark. Canada Life is proud to be presenting sponsor of Doors Open London since 2001. We're pleased to have the opportunity to show you around the place.